Hello everyone, I welcome you all in this video lecture. In this video lecture, we will study about the specific energy, specific energy output as well as specific energy consumption. Let us start with uh, specific energy output. Specific energy output is a ratio of energy output in watt hour to weight of the train in tons and distance traveled by the train in kilometer. And the unit for specific energy output that is a watt hours per ton kilometer. This quantity is used for comparing the dynamic performance of the trains operating in different routes and section. The energy input to the motors of the locomotive is the energy consumption of the train and this input energy is utilized in propelling the train. Actual energy requirement is uh, more in case of lighting, braking and the energy required for propelling the train and then let us define specific energy consumption it is energy consumed by the train as per the specifications of the train it is the ratio of the specific energy output at the driving wheel to the overall efficiency of the motors and transmission gear it can be mathematically written as specific energy output divided by overall efficiency of the motors and transmission gears. And it can be written as watt hour per ton kilometer that is the specific energy output and divided by efficiency multiplied by 100 to identify the specific energy consumption in percentage. Energy consumption in propelling the train on track is required for following different purposes. To have the linear and angular acceleration of the train from rest to overcome the resistance due to the motion of the train. When train is propelling on a track with a gradient, it works against gravity. To supply the losses in motors and other electrical system. So this for different uh, purpose identifies the requirement of the energy consumption during propulsion of the train. Now let us elaborate all the different requirement for the specific energy consumption. The energy consumed that is a product of the power supplied to the locomotive and the time for which the power is supplied. The power required in accelerating the train on level track depends upon the rate of acceleration, effective weight of the train and maximum speed attained by the train. So it depends on these three functions and uh, the mathematical expression can be given as 0 0.01072 multiplied by maximum speed that is Vm multiplied by alpha that is the rate of acceleration multiplied by time t and it is uh, expressed in what second the energy required in overcoming the resistance to motion is given by mathematical expression and that is a uh, 0.2778 multiplied by W that is the mass of the train 
multiplied by R that is the resistance of the train multiplied by Vm that is maximum speed and time t and it can be expressed in what second. It depends on the resistance of the motion and maximum speed and time of run. The energy required to overcome the force of gravity while going up gradient is given by 27.25 multiplied by W that is mass of the train multiplied by G that is a coefficient of gravity multiplied by maximum speed Vm and time T. It depends on gradient on the track, dead weight of the train and maximum speed and duration of run on track with gradient. Now let us discuss certain factors which affect the specific energy consumption. The first factor that is the distance between two stops, rate of acceleration and retardation, maximum speed attained by the train, nature of the track level or with gradient, train resistance, and the type and quality of train equipment. Now let us discuss each factor in detail. The distance between two stops. The requirement of the specific energy consumption is in proportion with the distance to be travelled by the train between the stops. The specific energy consumption decrease as the distance between two stop is increased, provided all other factors remain constant. So, in case of uh, distance is higher between two stops, then free running time is more and the specific energy consumption decrease with increase in the distance between the stops. We have a typical value for suburban service that is 50 to 75 watt hour per ton kilometer and for mainline service it is 18 to 32 watt hour per ton kilometer. The second factor that is the rate of acceleration and retardation. For any given scheduled speed and for distance to be travelled, if we increase the rate of acceleration or retardation, then specific energy consumption is less. The reason behind is when we increase the acceleration or retardation for a constant or for a given scheduled speed, then costing period increase and we have to supply the power up to the point when costing period comments. As acceleration is increased, specific energy consumption decrease. And third factor that is maximum speed attained by the train. The energy consumption is proportional to the square of the maximum speed. So for each locomotive we have to identify a maximum speed which provide the requirement for the specific energy consumption at minimum. The next factor that is nature of track level or with gradient. We know that uh, specific energy consumption is uh, more if we have up gradient and at the same time in case of low gradient the requirement of specific energy consumption is less and it depends on the steepness of the gradient and then train resistance nature of track size and shape of locomotive and 
atmospheric condition define the train resistance and if train resistance offered to the train is higher the requirement of specific energy consumption is more and vice versa so it is directly proportional to the train resistance and the last factor that is the type and quality of track equipment specific energy consumption is lower for overall higher efficiency we know the definition of specific energy consumption and we know that if we have overall efficiency is higher in case of all the electrical system as well as transmission system then the requirement of the energy consumption will be less and to have a very high efficiency the quality of all the track equipments and its maintenance should be at par thank you for watching my video keep watching thank you very much